Welcome to the categoric demonstrations conducted by the Department of Anatomy, Faculty of Medical Sciences, University of Srijavadalpur. Today, we are going to demonstrate a cross section through L1 level. Before describing the specimen, we will try to orientate the specimen. So, you can see the lumbar vertebra here, the spinal cord, the two transverse processors and the spine of the vertebra. So, this is the posterior aspect of the specimen and this is the anterior aspect of the specimen where you can see the two rectus abdominis muscles. Here you can see still you can see the costal cartilages ascending up. Here on the either side you can see the anterior abdominal wall muscles, the external oblique and the internal oblique. Now when we come to the specimen, the content of the specimen, the on the posterior aspect you can clearly see the thick uh, wall lumen here. So this is your descending outer. So this is the left side of the specimen and here you can see the inferior vena cava and the opening of the left renal vein which is crossing in front of the outer. So here you can see the two kidneys, the right kidney and the left kidney. So here is the spleen with the splenic vessels here and you can see the tail of the pancreas and here a part of the body of the pancreas. In front of the aorta and in front of the left renal vein you can see the inferior, the, the superior mesenteric artery. Here you can see the portal vein and this is the bile duct. Towards the anterior side of the specimen you can see the part of the stomach and the thick wall the pylorus part of the stomach and here the opening of the duodenums. Here you can see the cut to ends of the small bubble with the mesentery and to, on the right side you can see the liver. Here you can if you look at the fat around the kidney you can clearly see the renal capsule here the perirenal fat right between these two fascias and the pararenal fat. When you come to the posterior aspect of the specimen again you can clearly see the three layers of the thoracolumbar fascia. So this one is the posterior layer of the thoracolumbar fascia. This is the middle layer of the thoracolumbar fascia and the anterior layer of the thoracolumbar fascia. On the anterior aspect you can see the psoas muscles, the two psoas muscles and here is the quadratus lumborum muscles. Beneath that you can see the two ascending lumbar veins, spinal cord and here you can see the erector spiny muscles and closer to the, here you can see the latissimus dorsi muscles.